the slide that I literally just wrote. So it's not going to be anything special, but at the same time, uh, it's going to be the questions that I've seen pop up the most as I, since I've announced this. So depending on the time afterwards, we'll see if we have other questions uh, that, that I can possibly answer through the chat. Okay. Uh, but I would ask that everybody make sure like, you know, if you have your Facebook or Twitter or TikTok or WhatsApp or whatever else you got going on, just put it down for a little bit because what usually happens in these situations is I will do a presentation and then when I come out for Q and A, the same questions get asked. So just make sure that you guys are paying attention. Uh, also, we recorded this, okay? So you'll be able to share this with your team in case they didn't make it. I know in New Zealand, Australia, which we have a huge, huge group over there, as y'all know, um, it's like four o'clock in the morning. So we did not expect them to come out. I'm sure some of you still uh, stayed up and came out. Which you, you know, I appreciate you doing that. But make sure you know this is going to be recorded. So if you feel like you need to go to sleep right now go to sleep. Don't let me hold you up. Okay. We want you to be clear minded uh, for your business. So I do appreciate the support, but just make sure and know that, Hey, you don't have to stick around. If it's four o'clock in the morning, we are, we are recording this. So, but that being said, what I want to do is I, I just want to first talk about the why, you know, why we did what we did with the L3. What, what are the reasons behind it? Um, I have gotten a lot of questions on that. You know, like what, why, what made you all come out with the L3? What is the purpose of the L3? Those type of things. So I want to touch on that really quickly before I even get into the compensation plan part of it. And then, like I said, we're going to answer some of those important questions. But this one may be the biggest on your mind other than the launch date. So we'll talk about that is, is the why. And, you know, some of you who have had a chance to kind of go through the comp plan and see exactly what the potential is you already know what the why is, right? The, the reasons why is because we wanted to give everyone that opportunity to build here and build here long-term. You know, when you look at smart contracts right now that are, that are out there, most of them have some type of matrix uh, in the beginning. Some have, you know, altered to, to pay deeper. Some haven't, some have done it a little bit. You know, I always say this, we don't, when I say we, I don't necessarily really pay attention to what too many other smart contracts are doing. Um, you know, I primarily try to stay focused on where we're going. And I know that might sound weird because I get stuff thrown at me all the time. The reason why is because I know 99.9% .9 of it just doesn't work or it's not in the same category as far as vision or mission of where we're going. So, you know, I will say, hey, I got pushed by a couple of leaders here in this direction as well as far as like looking at this. Uh, this is something that we planned from from the beginning as I, as I told you we left our smart contract open so that we could actually add other things to it if we wanted to now by open that doesn't mean that we're not verified we're completely verified it just means that we have the ability to do certain types of things inside of the system we can't change the comp plan internally uh, you know what's there is there we can't terminate people we can't do any of that stuff it's still 100 percent decentralized but there's some things that we added to it that just no one else has been able to do that has allowed us to do some things that other smart contracts just haven't been able to do as well. So the reason behind this, like I said, was to create a platform that not only gave you that you know instant gratification that you need as far as the one by three, the two by two uh, matrix, right? It allows you to work on your personal business. It allows you to connect with some of your direct sales out there. What this L3 has done is it's created a, a way to not only be able to earn massive income. I'm going to show you some of those numbers here in a second, but it's created a way that you can, you know, take a step back from like just worrying about personally recruiting all the time. If you're a massive leader or a leader that's already built now, and I'm going to talk about that here in a second as far as strategy, but it allows you to start to focus on what maybe you should be focusing on, right? In normal traditional network marketing, if that's what you'd like to call it or direct sales, whatever it is, Usually you get to a point of your business, it's not that you stop adding people to your business, but it's where you start helping your team build. We didn't really have that platform in place. It was designed so that you would constantly have to be out there, you know, working your business as you should, by the way, okay? Because that's the top producers, they don't stop. They keep looking and they keep referring and they keep inviting and things like that. But they also want to be in a position as a leader to go out there and be able to help others, right? Not be so reliant on just your personal efforts, but be able to help others. And that's what we've been able to create with this L3 is a way that you can really build as deep as you want, as wide as you want, and be able to earn income. Now, some people might be like, what do you mean as deep as you want? It only goes 15 levels. Well, from a statistic standpoint, 
we know that a lot of people won't get to that 15th level, okay, in, in this business. And the massive, massive leaders, although they may go past that 15 levels, it's still the income potential is just off the charts, which you're going to be able to see here in a second. Now, I said this last time I shared this with y'all, and I truly meant it. Um, when, I, when I was doing this PowerPoint presentation and I was calculating these numbers on Excel, I really didn't want to show it. Uh, I know that sounds really weird, but I was a little bit scared of the numbers, right? Because the numbers are just completely outrageous when you start looking at the income potential, even on the lowest packages. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go through this really, really quickly because I've already done this presentation. So I'm not going to go through every single slide, but I'm just going to break down really quickly, like some of the basic understandings of the L3. So that will work into some of the questions I'm going to answer and, you know, what some of the strategy is for you as a leader right now as we go into this, okay? So again, not gonna spend time on every single one of these. We've already talked about you know, the L1, the L2, the L3, what the differences are. Um, <clears throat> just as a reminder on the L3, we will also have 16 different packages. Uh, again, always completely optional. You can purchase as many as you want inside of the L3. So if you can afford all 16, awesome. If you can't, that's okay as well. You can always build your way up, right? This is your business. We're not gonna force you to do anything. So you just decide what makes sense to you, but you can see the price points are the exact same as they are on L1 and L2. Uh, this is a one-time payment. We had some people asking if this is a monthly payment and it's absolutely not. So it's one time as far as this is concerned. Now, when we get into the actual compensation plan, hold on one second here, I'm trying to get into the comp plan. Okay, here we go. When we look at the comp plan, what we're referring to when we talk about a unit level is basically a structure. If you can imagine for a second, you can have as many personal sales as you want. So if you want to have 100 people that you personally refer, which many of you have already done, then you can have that 100 across the board. OK, you know, in a matrix, the reason why I'm starting with that is usually in a matrix as a matrix gets bigger, like maybe some of you all have since seen like three by nine matrices or three by 10 matrices or, or whatever it is, usually there's a restriction on that first line, right? On a traditional matrix, they'll limit you. So like a three by 10, for example, means on that first level, you can only have three people. And after those three people, they don't count as your level one, okay? Now with a unit level, you can go as wide as you want. As I said, you can have, when I say wide, I'm talking about your personal referrals, okay? So you can have as many personal refer referrals as you want. And as they start to build their business, they start to add levels or also what some people call generations, okay? So when you're looking at this, I wanna make sure we have this confusion. When I'm talking about level one, level two, level three, all the way down to level 15, I'm not referring to the package that you own. OK, I'm referring to your generation of your business, if that makes sense. OK, so when I talk about level one, I'm talking about the people that you personally refer. That would be your level one or your generation one. Right. So it, depending on where you come from in this industry, that question gets put out there a lot. But as you can see, um, I'm just going to break this down for you really quick. OK, on your personal referrals, every single time you make a sale in L3 at a per, on a personal level, as long as you own that package, you're going to earn a 20% commission. Okay. So, you know, if it's the 10,000 uh, Tron package that you're making a sell on, you personally make that sell, that'd be a 2,000 Tron paid to you, right? Pretty simple math. Now, when people that you personally refer go out there and they start building their business, okay, you personally referred someone, they go out there, they make a sell, that would be your level two, okay? And when that happens, you're going to earn a 10% commission, same on level three. And then as you go down the business, you're going to get 5% on every single person up to 15 levels, 15 levels, 15 generations, okay? And it gets even better. It, it is based on, let me go back here. It's based on all these packages. So for example, you could have someone that you personally sponsored at the 100 Tron level, right? And they may get out there and build their business and it may go 15 generations deep on just the 100 Tron, but they could also do it on 200, 300, 600, all the way. You guys get the idea, okay? So when we're talking about levels and generations, uh, that's what we're talking about as far as the amount of people and where they land in your in your your uh, unit level. Now, the reason why I hit on that, and some of you're like, "What? This is like basic stuff." It's basic. It may be basic to you, right? But I got that question a lot, so I don't think it's that basic. So just know, levels and generations mean the same, 
and you can build as wide as you want, meaning you can have as many personal people as you want, and you can go 15 levels down deep that you're going to get paid on. Okay. So what I want to show you right now, and I'm not going to go deep into this, but I want to show you some of these numbers. Okay. And I'm just going to look right now at the 100 Tron level. Okay. So that's the very first level. That's like what, $3 right now or $2 and 70 cents USD to get involved with it. Okay. And what I'm showing on this slide is the power of three. Now you guys have probably seen on the L1 and the L2, one thing that we've talked about many, many times is the power of three or even the power of six, okay? It depends what you, how you wanna build your business. We, almost every team in this smart contract right now are building with the power of three or the power of six. That is the way they teach people how to build their business. Now, the reason why is because we have a follow me system, right? And those people that you refer, as they go out there and they start to have success, they follow you. So we're showing that the power of everyone being able to do this, finding three people that find three people all the way down, creates this massive amount of momentum, right? Now, here's what I know for a fact. There's not a single one of you, as you're looking at this slide, that your business is going to look exactly like what I'm showing you, okay? So let's go on and get that out of the way. Just a financial disclosure. These are just illustrations. These are just numbers. They all take effort. If you don't do anything, you should not expect anything. Uh, that is pretty common business sense, but I still have to put it out there, okay? But when you look at the power of three, the reason why I almost didn't want to show these slides is because these numbers get ridiculous, right? If you go 15 levels down, three people that get three people, it grows all the way to 14 million people, which is a lot of people. I mean, we all know that the majority of people won't get to that level, but I still wanted to show you what is possible, okay? Now, again, I want to remind you, we're just talking about the very first package. So there's 15 other packages that you can look at when you're looking at the earning potential. I'm not gonna go through all those. In fact, I'm not gonna go through any others today. I just wanted to show you, starting with the very lowest package, how this works, and then you can do the math on your own, okay? So I wanna break down the simplicity of the math. If you have three people that you personally referred, okay, and they all paid 100 Tron, that's a total of what? 300 Tron, right? 100 times three people is 300 Tron. Now, if you get paid 20% of 300 Tron, that equals what? 60 Tron, right? That 20% of 300 is 60 Tron. That is why that's showing 60 Tron and earning right there. Now, if you go down a level, okay, we've got nine people at this point. If nine people pay 100 Tron, that's 900 Tron, right? Now, what do you get on the second level? You get 10%. So if you have 900 Tron times 10%, that equals 90 Tron. Very simple, very elementary type math, right? We can all do this, but I want you to understand really what this graph means because it's important as we get into the strategy as, as you teaching you how to build your business and what you need to do right now as a current leader. This is all super important stuff, okay? So I'm not gonna do the math all the way down, but what I want you to start to look at, you know, let's just say we go to, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, level 10, 59,000 people, they all paid 100 Tron, right? They didn't pay it monthly. They, they only bought the very first package, $2.70. If you had three that found three all the way down, that would be 295,245 Tron on a $2.70 package, right? So was, what you can see here is the power of leverage and growth. And the numbers just get to be insane. Again, I'm not gonna go through all these, but if we just look at the same level on 1000 Ethereum, uh, you know, that's over, that's almost 3 million Tron right? Just on three, they found three through 10 levels, not 15, just 10. So you can start to see these numbers get insane. Again, if we get to the, the, the last one here, 10,000, that's 29 million Tron. Now, here's what's crazy. I think our top earner right now has probably earned, I don't know, like 11.5 uh, million Tron, somewhere like that inside of uh, Lion's Share. What we're showing here on the 10th level of just the $10,000 package is, um, well, it is double what they've already earned just with three that find three in just this unit level, right? So you can see the power in this. I don't want to spend any more time on that, but what I did want you to understand is exactly how the numbers work, how you can calculate them, how you can build your business, and how you can use the same exact philosophy 
with the power of three, not only to help your one by three, not only to help your two by two, but now also to help that unit level. And as we get into this, I'm going to break that down even further for you and talk about the strategy that you can have. Okay, so let's get into this. And what I want to do is I'm going to start answering some of these questions, um, not from y'all yet, but just questions that have already been asking me. We're going to go through each one of these and then we're going to talk about what the real strategy is here for you as an existing leader um, or maybe if you're just very first getting started we're going to talk about some of those things as well okay so the first question everybody is asking is when is the launch james and gardo when are we going live and the truth is we don't know right but here's what i'll tell you okay um, we did not announce this with the intention that we were a month out or, you know, even three weeks out. We, we announced it this time because of the programming had already begun. We'd already started this process. We're already way into this. Okay. So what I'm going to tell you is this, and you guys heard us say this a lot with the Tron project and, you know, it still took time, but the bottom line is we're going to test everything. We're going to, we're going to make sure, make sure things are perfect. So we don't go through some of those challenges that we went through. Uh, with the Tron launch. I mean, let's not relive that, <laughs> but we all know it was a struggle, right? Uh, we don't want to have that type of stress. Now, the good news is this, okay, in regards to the launch specifically, um, we will announce it as we get closer, you know, kind of when it's going to be. I don't have an exact date. What I can tell you right now is you need to be ready. And what we're talking about here today are some of the strategies that you need to have in place to get you ready. OK, as long as you do what I tell you today, it doesn't matter if it launches tomorrow or if it launches, uh, you know, two weeks from now. That becomes irrelevant if you do what I tell you to do here today. OK, so that's that's the message that you need to receive as far as the launch is concerned. That's not that important. Now, keep something in mind, OK, unlike a matrix uh, or a brand new smart contract matrix that you've seen out there where everyone's like flooding in and flocking in and trying to secure their position and, you know, be as top to the, you know, as close to the top as you can and all those different things that, that you deal with with a matrix launch. You're not going to have to deal with that. OK, there's still going to be an influx of people that are ready to rock and roll. And what it boils down to is, can I keep my downline? Like, that's what a lot of you uh, wanted to know as soon as this was announced is like, hey, am I going to keep all these people that I've been working for? Because as you guys know, with every other smart contract in the industry here today, when they launch a new contract, guess what? Their people are not attached to them, right? It's just a free for all, just like jump in as quick as you can. They create this buzz. It creates some income for everybody. Well, not for everybody, but for some people. And then they move on to the next launch, the next project, right? We really wanted to avoid that with this L3 launch. And the only way to do that was to make sure that we could have your downline still attached to you. Now, by attached to you, what I mean by that is inside of this new smart contract, we're not going to uh, basically, you know, import everybody into the sense where you're already in the L3 smart contract. But what we are going to be able to do is we're going to be able to import from a database standpoint and make sure that the system knows who is connected to who. So a lot that's a long way for me to say that everyone that is in your 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 uh, I'm sorry your business right now with L1 and L2. If you're their sponsor, you will be their sponsor in L3. Okay, that is the way that the system is going to work. If you're if you have someone right now that you personally sponsored, right? They signed up with you, you will be listed as their personal sponsor in the L3. Okay, so that will be attached. You will not have to do anything from that perspective. So the answer is yes, you absolutely have the ability to keep your downline. Now that comes with some action okay and the action is some of the things that we're going to talk about here at the very end when we're talking about strategy there's some specific things that you are going to have to do that i really really want you to pay attention here today to make sure that you do protect your downline to make sure that you don't miss out on any commissions and make sure that you're sharing this with your entire team that's why we recorded this because this is going to be super super important for each and every one of y'all to understand so that very last item that i have here in regards to strategy or to be ready. We're going to talk about that at the very end. Okay. Now, the next question is, is L3 its own smart contract? The answer is yes. 
And the next question is why? Why did you not make it part of L1 and L2? You know, because that's what people would like to happen. People would love the opportunity that when someone comes in and joins, they simultaneously join L1, L2, and L3, right? It's like mandatory in order for that to happen. That's not the way it's going to work, okay? When people come in and join Lionshare, they're going to be able to buy L1 and L2. And once they're in the door, then they can make a decision if they want to be part of L3 or not. It's going to be right there in the back office. Now, the question is why? Why, James, why can't you make it to where? Where L3 is part of the package. I would love that, right? But the reality is L3 is going to be its own smart contract, right? So you cannot do automatic transactions in the same transaction with two different smart contracts, right? It would be like, I don't even, I'm not going to use that analogy because it'll, it'll sound weird. But the bottom line is it won't work. At least as far as I know, it's not going to work. If we find a way to make it happen, awesome. But as far as I know, that is not an option for us right now. Because remember, when you make a payment and you pay the smart contract, the smart contract automatically sends that payment to whoever it goes to. It's instantaneously, right? The smart contract just tells the funds where to go. So the same will hold true with the L3, but it is a different smart contract. As we've said many, many times, you cannot change you cannot change a comp plan on a smart contract inside of a smart contract that's already been put on the blockchain so that's why it will be its own okay so just we don't have to spend any more time on that i just want everyone to be aware that when people come in and join l1 and l2 they will then have the option at that point to join l3 if they choose to do so so the next question is well okay if if someone comes in and buys l1 and l2 do they have to buy a certain amount of packages to buy the l3 again the answer is no. Uh, they could come in and buy package L1 and L2, uh, just package one, and they could buy all 16 packages on L3. Again, the question becomes why? Well, and the answer is very simple. We can't link those two together. So there's no way that we can tell the smart contract to look at the other smart contract to see if people actually own a certain amount of packages, right? It's all tied into a database and that becomes challenging. So just so you know, uh, as people come in, again, they can buy L1, L2, even package one. They can buy all 16 tables on L3 if they wanted to. Now, I'm going to tell you this. People do what you do. OK, so they do exactly what you tell them to do most of the time. So if you're out there and you're building your business, you even if you're an online marketer, you should have a video there at some point that says, hey, you know what you should be doing to get the most effectiveness out of your business is join L1 and L2 up to this this level if you can afford it. And most of the people on my team join at this level or I join at this level or whatever, and then say, and then on L3, we're going up to this level. Those are the conversations that you have to have with your people as they come in, because if you leave it to them to choose what they want to do, then most of the time they're not going to choose what you are wanting or what you are thinking. So it boils down to education, right? And making sure that people understand exactly what's going on. Okay. So just keep that in mind. All right. So let's go on to the next questions of what if I don't upgrade? What if I don't wanna participate in the L3? You don't have to, okay? I mean, that's completely up to you. This is an optional platform. It's not something that is going to be forced on anyone. Now, why why you would not is, a, is another whole nother subject that I don't even know how to, how to get into because the, 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 the proof was in the numbers. Numbers do not lie, okay? And if you're looking for a platform that you really want to build long-term, then the L3 is going to be the package for you to be able to, what I, what I would say, be able to build a organization here that you can keep together. If I had to guess, there's a lot of you right now, even in Lionshare, even though it's only three weeks old with the Tron project, my guess is you might already have people that are out looking for the next big launch, right? They're, they're out looking for something else to do because it's the nature of the business. People cannot stay concentrated. Uh, they're always looking for the next shiny penny or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so the bottom line is what the L3 does is it, it creates this commitment, even though it's an invisible commitment, it's a commitment to building here. As your team starts to do what you do, you're going to be shocked at the income that you're going to earn and you're not going to want to go anywhere else, right? Regardless of what the deal is. And that's what we've been able to create here. So you absolutely don't have to upgrade an L3, but here's what's going to happen if you don't. Okay. Just so you know, then this is going to be important. So whatever you got going on right this very second, Pay close attention to this part of it because a lot of you are asking this question. I want to make sure that you get it. 
If you do not upgrade on L3, okay, if you decide that platform is not for you, it's completely cool. But your personal people, okay, the people that you personally referred, if they decide to go ahead and do L3, they are going to pass you on every single package that you don't own. They will pass you and they will be passed up. Okay. <clears throat> now, here's the deal that that brings into another question. Okay. Well, James, what if I can only afford the first eight packages and I have someone upgrade all the way to package nine or 10? What happens then? Well, what happens is this, they're going to follow you, <clears throat> excuse me, they're going to follow you on the first eight. By follow you, that means they're going to be in your unit level, right? Level one on your first eight. And then on that ninth and 10th level, they would go follow whoever is next that actually owns those packages. Now, to take it even a step further, let's say at some point you upgrade to nine and 10, and let's just say you go all the way to 16 you're still going to be losing them on nine and 10. There's nothing that can be done about that, right? It's a smart contract. We can't move it back to you. It's not a matrix where they can cycle back into you. So you've actually lost that, okay? But number 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, in my example, they can still follow you there as long as you upgrade before they do, okay? So it's very, very important for you to understand this. You do not have to participate in L3. But if you do not participate in L3, it's not like a matrix where these people are going to come back to you at some point. So just completely understand that, that once someone passes you at whatever level it is, they've passed you, right? They are no longer with you there with whoever was next in line. Very, very important to understand as we get into the strategy here in just a second. Um, I've already answered the next question. Do I have to join L1 and L2 in order to join L3? And the answer is yes. You come in at L1 and L2 first. And then if you decide to upgrade to L3, at whatever package you want, you absolutely can do that. Okay. All right. So next question here, is there compression in this unit level? <clears throat> For those of you who are new, that might be a foreign language to you. Okay, what, what does uh, you know, compression even mean? Well, compression usually happens in a unilevel or even sometimes a binary structure when someone becomes inactive. Okay, so imagine this. Imagine you're right here, someone's way down here, and they become inactive active uh you're not their sponsor a lot of times a, a compensation plan will push them up and compress that to where they knock out all the inactive people and they compress up the people who are active right because it benefits those who are active now keep something in mind inside of a a unilevel level that is just a one-time payment compression becomes irrelevant. There's natural compression in the fact that if you don't purchase the package, someone automatically goes up. But since there's no such thing as an inactive member because it's not a monthly fee, there's not a compression from that standpoint, okay? So again, if you're brand new or you don't know what compression means, please don't get too caught up in that, okay? It's not, it's not something that you completely need to understand. It's just something that uh, I, I wanted to mention because I've gotten that question from some leaders out there. Okay. It's a natural compression because there's not a monthly fee. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't compress in the sense that if someone's inactive, it just takes them out of the system and moves that up. Okay. So just that might've confused some of y'all don't let it again. If you didn't know what compression was before I started talking, forget everything I just said, cause it doesn't matter. All right. So here's the question. The biggest question of the day, is what do you have to do to be ready, right? I mean, we've already seen the comp plan. You've seen the power of those numbers. You have an understanding of now, like why we actually came out with the L3. What was the thought process behind it? Is Was it to keep up with everybody else? What are we doing here? We, we've covered all of that. And now it boils down to, well, how do you do this? Like when this thing actually goes live, what does your business look like? What does your day look like? What do you need to have in place to make sure that you and your team are ready? That's what I want to talk about right now. So again, whatever you have going on right this very second, I would ask that you put it down and pay attention, okay? Because this is something just like a smart contract. Once it happens, everything becomes irreversible, right? It's irreversible. It doesn't matter if you hit us up and say, hey, someone did something on accident. You guys know we cannot fix it. It is a decentralized system. So this part of the presentation, if you didn't hear anything else, except for maybe Bon Jovi living on a prayer in the beginning, you need to hear this, okay? So pay attention to what we're about to talk about, all right? So as I did tell you already, 
if you don't upgrade inside of your L3, okay, so you decide that the platform's not for you, that's okay. You are going to lose your people if they decide to move forward. Now, some people won't. If you don't, they may not as well. But just know that if you don't do it and your personal people too, they are passed up. We've already covered that. That doesn't need to be covered anymore, but we are going to talk about it in a little bit more detail. Okay. So as a leader right now inside of the smart contract, if you have even one personal, or if you have 200 personals, this is the same thing is going to hold true for everybody. Okay. So what do you need to be doing right this very second? Well, number one, you need to make sure that you have an entire list of your personal direct referrals on an Excel spreadsheet. However, you communicate with people with your personals, even if you wanted to set up a Telegram room just for you and your personals or a Telegram channel, you need to have a way to communicate with every single one of your direct referrals. Now, my guess is if they're your direct referral, you already have direct communication with them, right? But there are some of you out there that are internet marketers that you're sending people through funnels and stuff like that, that you may not even know the person, right? They clicked on your ad or your link or your social media post or whatever, and they ended up signing up and you've literally never had a conversation with them, or maybe they hit you in a DM or something like that. You need to have access to every single one of your personal people in a list, okay? I don't care how you do it, Excel spreadsheet, telegram room, whatever you need to do, but you need to have all your personals listed out. Okay. Now, when this thing goes live, the way that it's going to work is that you are going to communicate with your personals after you have upgraded, right? So this is going to take a lot of leadership. There are going to be people that will not follow instructions. And for those people, honestly, I mean, there's not much we can do. Okay. So I want everybody to remember this when I'm saying this, okay, because I mean it emphatically, like if someone passes you because they didn't follow instructions or you didn't communicate correctly, that it is not on us. Okay. We always have these situations. We had a situation even in the contract, uh, like with the Tron contract where we're, we're literally got, had people like accusing us of like taking their people and stuff like that. Let me be clear. I mean, if y'all know anything, like we're not into that. I mean, you know, if you just got here, like we're not trying to take anything from anyone, that's the bottom line. And we don't want you to lose anyone. Hence the reason why I'm out here this morning, making sure that you fully, fully understand exactly what you need to do. So step number one, make a list of your personal people, period. Like it doesn't get any more complicated than that. Make a list and make sure that you have direct access that you can communicate with them. Now, leading up to this process, I would say that if you haven't been communicating with your personals, maybe you've been off doing some other stuff, you haven't been paying attention, whatever it is, now is the time to start having those conversations with your people saying, look, we know that the L3 is coming. Here's the strategy that we're going to use. I'm going to be upgrading to this package. You guys can decide which package makes sense for you. Now, remember, most people are going to do what you do. Okay. So if you don't participate, I would not expect that people are going to participate unless they are coming out to the calls and they have more involvement than you do. Then you're going to lose those people. I mean, almost 100%. Okay. So number one, make the list. Once you have the list, number two, start communicating today, not tomorrow, not next week. Start communicating today because we are getting very close that the L3 launch is coming, okay? And you're going to have to have some structure and some commitment by your team. And the commitment should be this, okay? I'm going to let you guys know as soon as I'm upgraded. As your personal sponsor, I'll let you know. My, my personal sponsor is going to let me know. And as soon as they let me know, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade and I will give you guys the go ahead. Okay. Now, listen, as my personal team, here's what you need to do. You need to make your own list of your personal people, right? You need to make sure you have that list. You can do it on uh, Telegram. You can do it on Facebook. You can do it on an Excel spreadsheet, but I want you to make a list of all your personal people. Okay. And as soon as you upgrade and you decide which package you're going to go to, you then need to communicate to your team that you've now upgraded and they can do the same. Now, it sounds like it could get complicated, right? And there are going to be some cases that people don't follow instructions and they move past you. There's nothing that we can necessarily do about that. But I want to say something, okay? If you're one of those people out there today that maybe you're intentionally thinking that you're going to move forward, like it's going to benefit you financially, let me go on and squash that myth for you, okay? There is zero, and I do mean zero advantage 
for you to pass your sponsor in these instances, okay? This is not a matrix where you're gonna catch some type of roll up that they didn't catch. Your intention should be to follow whoever brought you into this business, okay? The best way that you can earn income is to work as a team and making sure that your team is intact. So just like you don't want people passing you up, you definitely don't wanna pass your sponsor up. There, I'm telling you, there's no financial benefit whatsoever to do that. So the intent here needs to be that you're going to be the leader that people want to follow. So number one, have your list. Number two, start communicating today that the launch is coming. Number three, let everybody know that as soon as you hear from your sponsor and you've upgraded, you're going to let them know. Also, make sure that you're communicating. Hey, listen, you know, I know when it's a matrix that everybody freaks out and you're trying to get that positioning because you want to get to the top or everything. That has nothing to do with this launch. Since everyone already has a sponsor, right? Everyone who's going to be in, except for brand new people who are joining, they'll still have a sponsor. There's no reason why we should be trying to go around or sponsor shop or anything like that, because it doesn't even make sense, right? Because think about this. If I was in a position right now that maybe I got other people call me, this is what happens in matrixes. That's why I mention it. I got other people calling me trying to get me to join their team. So let's just say I say yes. So now I go join this team. Well, now I have to convince all my people to repay to join again. Again, that doesn't even make any sense. And there's no financial benefit is the truth, right? Because your depth is still your depth. Even if you try to pass someone, your depth still remains your depth. It's 15 levels deep of you, right? Not 15 levels deep of if you get to jump people. It makes no financial sense to do it. So number one, make a list. Number two, make sure you start communicating today. Number three, make sure you let people know that the L3 is coming and that they should be building their list and doing the exact same thing. Number four, you're going to let them know as soon as you hear from your sponsor and you've upgraded, you will then tell them to do it as well. Um, I would say that a 24-hour period should be more than sufficient for every single one of you. If you haven't upgraded in 24 hours and your teammates pass you and you can't figure out why, then you know it's because you didn't act quick enough, okay? So there is still going to be some urgency here for you to do it, but it's not gonna be the type of urgency where everyone's trying to steal everyone from everyone else, or you know, you're trying to jockey to get some position in a matrix, or you know, you're worried about what number you're gonna get. None of that really matters, okay? So just keep that in mind. But one thing that we want to do is we want to protect the integrity of Lionshare, right? And we want to make sure that our community stays strong. So the only way to do that is make sure that we have fair people in here with fair business practice, okay? So again, like I said, you know, I, I hope I helped all of you out there, especially if you had it in your mind that, hey, I'm going to pass my sponsor because it's going to be a benefit to me. There's literally no financial benefit. Just remember that as you go into this, it makes no sense whatsoever for you to do that. So the best way to do it is to make sure to follow your sponsor, make sure to go in the order in which, you know, th that you can come in. Now, here's the other key thing. Um, uh, one of the questions I got is, okay, do I need to put my people in, in the order in which they came into L1 and L2? And the answer is no. Okay. As long as you're, you're, they're your personals, it doesn't matter. They're all going to be your level one. So it doesn't matter if, you know, you put your first person in last or first, it, it's irrelevant to their income. And it's also irrelevant to your income. Okay, I hope everybody is getting this. And the reason why I'm spending so much time on it is because y'all know, because you were part of it, you know, with with the with the Ethereum and the Tron launch, we, we had people going berserk, right? We had people going crazy, trying to go around their sponsors, do all this stuff. And we don't want that to happen. We want to make sure that the integrity of this business can stay here and that people stay together. And the only way to do that is through proper communication and proper understanding of the comp plan. So now that you understand there's no benefits to doing that, I think a lot of you will hopefully change your mind and make sure that you stay with your sponsor as far as allowing them to upgrade first. And number two, if you're out there and maybe you're a leader and you were worried about some of that stuff, hopefully you have a little bit of peace of mind. If you're communicating uh, effectively with your teammates, you literally should have no problem whatsoever making sure that this happens. You know, the people that are probably going to struggle the most, when I say struggle, is if you have 100 people in your personal downline or 200 people in your personal downline, getting that many people to follow instructions sometimes becomes a challenge, right? Um, imagine trying to do that now with over 100,000 people. 
So that's kind of where we're at, right? We put these messages out. I do these presentations. We'll put out many, many videos and there'll be many things that are released before the launch gets here. And guess what? People still won't pay attention and they still will not do the right thing. And they'll still be asking us to fix it. And that's just live, right? There's nothing we can do about that. But what you can do right now for your personal team is be the leader that people want to follow. And the people that, that want to follow the leader, they do what the leader says. So just make sure that you're plugged into your personal people, that you are communicating with them. Even if you've been off doing something else, if you see you know, how powerful this can be is now, get reacquainted with these people. Make sure that they know that you're there to support them and have a structure in place, a list in place, things in place to protect you. So with that being said, I'm going to actually stop sharing this here and I'm going to look at the chat here to see if there's anything that I may have possibly missed. Now, here's the deal. I'm not going to bring out anybody here today, but if you have a question, okay, if you have a question, you can actually put it in the chat. Um, and, and I'll be glad to answer. I think that I answered most of what might come our way. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Okay, so here's a question from, uh, I think it's Raja. I'm not sure I said that na name right. Uh, can someone who, who doesn't have a downline in L1 earn an L3 without a downline? So let me be clear on something. It's a great question. Um, you know, inside of this smart contract, you, you have to have business in order to earn, right? It's, I mean, that's just the way it works. So it doesn't matter if you're talking about L1 or L3, there's effort that has to be in there in order for you to be able to earn. So the answer is yes, you, you have to be able to uh, have the effort to be able to earn inside of that. So L1 is not necessarily attached to your L3 earning potential. You may be at L1 at the very lowest level and upgrade on all the levels on L3 and be able to benefit. So that's gonna be completely up to you. Uh, let's see here. So is building deep not going to help you on the L3? Well, of course it's going to help you. I mean, it pays 15 levels deep, right? You can have your personals as many as you want, but it goes 15 levels deep. So, you know, you being that leader and helping your team grow is going to increase your income like drastically. Okay. So if you look at the numbers, that's the way it works. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to go back to this. Let me share this one more time here because I got a couple questions just like on percentages, maybe for people that came in late. So let me show you guys exactly what the unit level looks like again. Uh, so these are the percentages, uh, level one, 20%, level two, 10%, level three, 10%, and that's 5% on the rest of them. Okay, so there that is. So take a picture of that really quick if you need to. Uh, I think this is already, I think maybe we put this in the marketing group already. If we haven't, we'll throw this PowerPoint in there. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing that so I can actually read some questions here. Let's see here. Um, okay. So here's, here's a great question. Um, how will I buy a bundle? How will the buy bundle work on if the L3 is coming? So the buy bundle will just be on the L2 and L1 and L2 to begin with. Okay. Um, we do intend on putting a bundle buy on L3, but at the launch, it will not be there. Okay. So L1 and L2, you'll still have that bundle buy that you can use. For those of you who not, are not familiar with the bundle buy, basically we give people the ability, if they want to buy multiple packages, they can do it through a bundle and they don't have to do you know 32 different transactions or whatever it is. They can do it in one transaction and buy as many as they want. That will still be there for the L1 and the L2. It will come on the L3, at least that's what I understand. Don't don't hold me to that, but I've been told it's going to come on the L3. It just won't be there at launch. Okay. So that's a really good question. Um, can someone just go straight to the L3 without uh, bothering about L1 and L2? No, I mean, the way that you get into the platform with uh, Lionshare is you have to buy L1 and L2 simultaneously. So even if you just buy those first two packages, you can, and then you can, uh, if you just want to build the L3, then you can just build the L3. That'll be up to you. Let's see here. So if our sponsor doesn't want to join uh, L3, we automatically go to their upline. Yes, you, the, well, the system, the way the system will work is it will, it will try to find the next person at that level, okay? So it could be your sponsor. It could be someone above them, depending on, you know, who your sponsor is and who their sponsor is. So it, it, the system will automatically look for that. You won't have to worry about doing that, okay? Um, 
can I please use my existing lion share account for L3 or I must open another account? No, no, no. Everything will be linked together in your same back office. So again, that's a really good question. Some of y'all may be worried that you have multiple back offices to log in. No, everything will show in the, the current back office. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I mean, like a smart contract is a smart contract, right? But what you see, like when you go to our website, that is not the actual smart contract. That's just a database that takes the information from the smart contract and illustrates it in a beautiful way, right? So that's that's the point of the website. So yeah, we'll be able to display that back there. Let's see here. You're welcome. Uh, let's see here. Uh, should we be sharing with personals who do not have a team built or appear to have a downline? Um, so John, I think what your question is like, if I have someone that hasn't done any business, should I maybe help them out? Is it like by giving people away? That's the way I read that, that question. I don't know if it's correct. Um, that's kind of a personal preference. I, I, I don't like giving people away usually because, you know, it's just like your kids, man. I mean, you, you guys know this, if, if you give them everything, which I'm guilty of, I got to tell you, sometimes it's hard to get them to do the things that they need to do. Right. So the only way to become an entrepreneur is to become an entrepreneur, right? It's, you, you have to go through it to get there. That's my opinion. Everyone has their own philosophy. Mine is like, you can help them in the sense of, hey, this is how you do it. This is how, what do we have to do to help you get going? But I would not give my people away. It just doesn't make sense financially and more psychologically than, than financially. Um, where is the marketing group? Aaron, I don't know how to answer that. Um, I mean, you have, oh, maybe you're talking about the marketing page. Marlene, could you maybe throw that in there? Oh, there. Awesome. Okay. there? Okay, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see here. Um, if you guys have uh, customer support questions, Marlene threw that in there as well, I think. So, you know, if you have something like, as far as I see someone asking about connecting their account and stuff like that, just make sure that, uh, you know, send support a message. They will help you with that. Mike's asking, uh, do we retra retain our ID or will we have a new one? Well, what a lot of people may not know, Mike, is like, you know, I know you were here for the Ethereum contract. You've been here from day one. If y'all don't know Mike, massive, massive leader in Nigeria. Awesome dude. So um, just like with Ethereum and Tron, your numbers are different, but you can actually connect them. Right. I don't know if you knew that. Um, and that's something that we need to train on. I think maybe the ladies have trained on that, but um, you can actually use the same ID on on any anything that you do, but you have to connect them. Um, my guess is and I know I should know that answer. My guess is that your number will probably not be the same, um, but you'll be able to connect them all. So you will just have one link to promote everything. OK, so we will train on that. But Mike, it's a good question. I, I don't know for sure that answer. I, I mean, I would love to have that, but I don't have it a hundred percent, but I will get that answer for you. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Um, so here's a good question. So no back doors. Uh, when people are talking about back doors, uh, they're talking about one or two. Th well, they could be talking about multiple things, but what I think they're talking about is I think they're talking about joining the, the blockchain, right? just like straight to the blockchain or they're talking about like people who are sponsor shopping like going around and stuff like that we've already covered that right no one's going to be sponsor shopping because there's no benefit whatsoever to do that um but as far as joining direct to a smart contract people actually can do that i again i don't i won't see the benefit in this because there's no race um, it, there's still urgency, but without the race. So the reason why people were joining direct to the blockchain last time is, well, number one, we had system issues, but number two, uh, people oftentimes do that to try to beat, right? Or to try to get there first. There's not real need to do that. So I don't expect a lot of backdoor joining, but it possibly could happen. Um, let's see here. Okay, so here's a question about, um, it's not necessarily to the L3, but I think it's still an important question. So I'm going to answer it. Uh, in regards to energy, like some of y'all have seen that when you go in there and you try to purchase, like you might get a message that says, hey, you don't have enough energy in your account. Can you, you know, add energy? Um, we've set it up now that if you just hit continue, it's still going to purchase it. 
Uh, for those of you that don't have energy in your, your, your Tron link account or wherever you're doing business, <clears throat> it's very easy to add it. You don't need to add much if you're going to do that. If, that. if that message is annoying you, move like two or three Tron over there <clears throat> into the energy and you should be good, right? It doesn't take a lot. We're talking about like not what? Not even a dollar, not even a US dollar to get that uh, annoyance taken care of. So just know that, but it, it shouldn't hold you up. Um, let me see what else is here. Okay. Uh, is there a Telegram channel for French and Zoom? Uh, because we have some French speaking. Okay, so um, we do have a PowerPoint for French. I believe it's in that marketing room that <clears throat> Marlene just shared there. We do have a marketing Telegram room. Uh, but as far as a specific French telegram channel, we do not have that yet. Okay. So we're actually looking for some French leaders to step up and help us with that. So maybe that's you, right? So uh, just, just connect with us when we're out here on these calls and that might be something we can work out. So on the L3 spillover, overflow works similar to the L2, am I right? No, you are, you are incorrect. Um, <clears throat> there, there is no overflow. Okay. There is no cycling. There is no, uh, you know, passing up because you landed in one, two, or, you know, there's none of that. Okay? So it like, it, I don't want to say it couldn't be further apart from the L2, but like they are not similar whatsoever. Okay. With the L2, you have a defined spot that you go into based on when you join, right? It's left to right in the order in which you come in uh, based on a lot of different things. Okay. Inside of a unilevel, uh, you can bring in as many people as you want personally. They're on your level one, and that just builds down based on <clears throat> what they do. Okay, so the, it, it is not definitely not the same. <clears throat> when you think about overflow inside of the L3, I wouldn't call it overflow. I would call it teamwork or team building effort because, you know, it's based on what other people are doing inside of your team, but not based upon do they fall into your matrix, right? And that's the thing with spillover. I mean, we talked about this a lot. Spillover is really cool, but I almost can't stand that word uh, because it's so overused. And, you know, the, the facts are the facts. We don't know when spillover is going to happen. You don't have to worry about that with the L3. You just get out there and build and help your team and you're going to be able to earn. Let's see here. I can share the uh, percentage uh, again. Hold on one second for those of y'all who didn't see it. All right, I'm going to leave that up for a second as I read through some of these other ones. And I know for y'all sitting here, this might be kind of boring waiting for me to read, but <clears throat> maybe there's a question. If you have a question, make sure to ask it, okay? Um, L3 is totally my personal team. No spills from upline like a matrix. Well, again, that's not entirely true either. Um, it's based, I mean, the foundation of the L3 is based on your personal referrals, right? Because it's like anyone that you personally refer, they're on level one. Then they go out there and refer people. They're on level two and so on. So it does start with you, but let's be honest, any business starts with you if you want to make any money. So, I mean, that's just, that's kind of a blunt way to put that. I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. Um, okay. So yeah, I understand on the French, uh, we do have French translation on the website. I'm pretty sure we have a PPT, a PowerPoint presentation, and maybe even the movie in French. So I think we have all those done. Um, again, if you check out that marketing room that Marlene put there, you can get it. Also, if you contact support, they can point you in the right direction of that as well. All right. Any other questions? Um, if not, I'm going to wrap this up because we've been here an hour. James, in the L2, the two line, where, where exactly do those go? Um, the slide presentation shows the arrows up. So here's the deal. Um, <clears throat> I, for, for sake of time, I can't get into all that uh, with the L2. I did a video on that. Um, you know, if you go to our YouTube channel um, or actually just contact support, they'll shoot you that YouTube link, uh, Jock. Uh, they'll send that to you. Okay. So you can take a look at it, but it'll explain exactly where that number one and number two go in the L2. Um, there won't be any spillover, but maybe some overflow if anyone passes their sponsor. Yeah, Simon, that's, that's true. There, there could be. Okay, let's see here. <clears throat> All right, so I think I'm going to wrap it with that. Uh, I don't see any other questions. A lot of the questions that came through are kind of the same. So let me stop sharing here. Okay, so look, um, 
I want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much for, for coming out. Number one, uh, you know, I know for some of you, it's super early in the morning. As I told you, you know, you should have went back to bed because we recorded it, but that's okay. You did. You came here. Uh, that shows your loyalty to your business and your team. Um, I just want to, even though I've, I feel like I've beat this in the, the ground at this point, I want to make sure that every single one of you know that as soon as you get off this call here today, what should you be doing? Marlene, let me ask you, okay, what do you think the number one thing people should be doing right this second when they get off this webinar? It's not a trick question. If you get it wrong in front of all these people, don't be embarrassed. I'm just saying it's going to hurt my feelings a little bit because I feel like I've pounded the table on it. But go ahead and let's hear your answer. Get in touch with my personals. Exactly. Right. Make the list of your personals and get in touch with them. Exactly. So not a trick question. It's easy. So after you get a list of your people and you contact them, you tell them that the L3 is coming, right? We're going to do this in a professional way. And I guarantee you that if you are the leader that people want to follow, they're going to follow you. You're not going to have any problem. This is going to be an easy, easy process. It's just going to take a little bit of structure. If we could just magically import everybody into a new smart contract and keep them in the order and do all that, we would do that. But it's impossible to do that. Okay. So we know that that's not the case. So with that being said, make sure to build your list here today. Make sure to contact your people. I'm telling you, like, and I've said this many times, but we're very, very close to this happening. Okay. So you're not, I'm not going to get in a situation again, like, like last time we told people where they're going to have a 48 hours heads up. And that kind of came back to bite us, even though we did it from a strategic standpoint, there were some people that were really angry at us for not giving a 48 hour notice, even though it was to protect them. I'm not giving a, I'm not telling you we're giving you a 48 hour notice. I, what I'm going to tell you is that when it's ready, we're going to let you know. So right now you should be already getting ready. So if they hit us tomorrow from a programming standpoint and say, hey, James, this thing's ready to go live. Can we make it live? And I say, yes. Well, you already have your list ready. You've already contacted your people and you've already went through the process, right? So make sure we're going to get this recording. We'll edit it to make sure it's just the last part. Make 100% sure every single one of your teammates get this as you're communicating with them and say, look, you also need to make your list. We need to get your personals ready. I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. Look. We come together here. This is going to be an amazing thing. And most importantly, I mean, you guys saw the numbers. Uh, the, the amount of Tron that's going to be able to be earned by people is going to be astronomical. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we've just created a platform that you can absolutely build long term. So with that being said, um, you know, I, again, as always, I want to give praise and thanks to uh, the ladies who come out here in the mornings and the evenings and help you build their business. I mean, they've done phenomenal for you. For all the leaders that came out here today, thank you all for your efforts. As you guys probably saw last night, we went over 50,000 people in the smart contract. I said last night on the call, like my first company, I think it took me three years to get to 50,000 people. We did that in three weeks. So it's an awesome, awesome deal, especially considering the bumpy launch that we had. So I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Get in touch with your personals. I'll continue to make these videos. Uh, if you need help, use our support system. We're there for you and y'all have a great day. See y'all.